in a move that underscores the tension between geopolitical pressure and market reality, the Netherlands has quietly facilitated the continued sale of advanced lithography tools to China by removing related transactions from official export data. This administrative adjustment has allowed ASML, the Dutch lithography giant, to maintain robust commercial ties with Chinese buyers despite mounting international restrictions. China emerged as ASML largest customer in the year 2024, contributing 84 billion renminbi in purchases, equivalent to 36% of the company global revenue. Without access to the Chinese market, ASML stands to lose between 30 and 35 billion euros annually, a loss deemed unsustainable for the firm. Dutch authorities cite protection of business confidentiality as justification for the reporting change, though observers note the decision aligns with economic pragmatism over political alignment with the United States. Meanwhile, Japan, strict adherence to U.S.-led export controls has yielded painful consequences. Despite an 82% surge in semiconductor equipment exports to China during 2024, Japanese firms have seen declining returns. Nikon reported an 8.4% drop in revenue and shuttered a manufacturing facility that had operated for 58 years. Tokyo Electron executives lament that the export ban has effectively dismantled their mid- and low-end business segments in China. In contrast, China domestic lithography capabilities are advancing rapidly. Equipment based on 90 nanometer technology is now in mass production, and 28 nanometer systems are undergoing final validation. National efforts aim to achieve more than 25% domestic equipment adoption by 2025, with a target of 50% by 2030. The unfolding dynamics reveal a clear lesson. Market forces often outweigh political directives. While Japan finds itself trapped by policy rigidity, the Netherlands has opted for commercial realism. As one ASML executive reportedly noted, the lure of hard currency remains irresistible, a truth that continues to shape the global semiconductor landscape.